home, not dealing with anything too serious no. weather-wise, but 700 miles away, obviously a different situation. Big time storms last night. Now, severe weather at night is one of the worst case scenarios because people aren't paying attention. They're asleep as well, too. Yeah. Most of this weather happened about 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, Mississippi time, and basically it's incredibly dangerous. Yeah. 23 people at least are dead. L let me show you what happened. Uh, what we think happened was a wedge tornado, which is very strong, very wide, all the way down to the ground. It came through on a line of storms that was coming out of northern Louisiana into and just north of Jackson, Mississippi. Most of this is actually north of Jackson, Mississippi. Here's the line now. It's falling apart. There is a small chance for some strong storms into Georgia with it today, but nothing like what we saw last night. Here's going back to last night, and you can see where Jackson, Mississippi is. Look at this line right here. That was basically the one cell that produced the tornado. Here it comes. Produced the tornado and kept dropping it. I've heard reports it's been on the ground for 100 miles. We'll see because usually these things come up and drop and come back down again. But if you look at the reports of tornadoes from that cell, you can see how it just basically stems from that one right there. And then you look at the distance. This thing was over 100 miles is the track. Now, doesn't mean there's damage all along 100 miles there, but it means it came from that particular cell. This is what we got this morning, which just it breaks your heart. I mean, we woke up to, what was it? What was the 13? 13 dead this morning is what we woke up was a number. And then later this morning, we got 23 confirmed dead, four still missing, and dozens are injured. This is from the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency. And these numbers are expected to get a little bit higher, unfortunately. I've seen some damage video this morning. It's unbelievable. It's wiped out some whole towns off the map. Um, the severe weather threat now is off to the south and the east, and it's nothing like what it was. Now, this is tomorrow, and there's Jackson. Remember, the hardest hit area is right here. This threat for severe weather is there. They could get some rain out of it, but the biggest threat is to the south, and it is not as high as what it was yesterday when those storms came through. None of this, by the way, will affect us. So